this new video hope you've understood uh, with the thumbnails that uh, what is this video regarding so in this series I'm going to perform I'm going to explain uh, about the active data guard so before I proceed with the configuration and all the process and all how we can configure uh, two physical servers as an active in, in an active data guard, uh, environment I want to show you one practical example about uh, for that uh, or practical feature you can uh, say that uh, what is this actually active data guard how it uh, it is useful to us so uh, what why I'm making this video uh, in the first of this series because if you if you see this example uh, while configuration you may understand better after uh, in the in next videos I'm going to explain how to configure on all so in that in that scenario you can better understand uh, understand and you can relate very well about the process and all so uh, that is what uh, in this video we are going to perform uh, manual switch over and uh, switch back from primary to standby and standby to primary so in the my in my left node node 1 this is now currently primary and in the right node node 2 this is currently physical standby and you can see that this is in sync so uh, before we proceed into uh, our video so let's look into the steps ones okay so in the primary I'm gonna execute to check whether any gap is there or not nothing it should know it should uh, reply as nothing actually so in the left node it is our primary here you can see that uh, no gap is detected and uh, let's check in the standby dear standby uh, what is the lag let me format yeah the value should return here is zero that means there is no um, lag actually so now in our this is our left side in our uh, primary DB and here in uh, in the right side it's it's our second I mean physical standby now it's time to check to that it should return actually to standby so in primary whenever we are going to switch uh, switch over I mean perform switch over in the primary servers it should always return to standby so basically it is uh, giving a standby only now what we will do is we will convert this uh, primary to physical standby with session shutdown it will automatically shut down the instance and we will wait for some time you can see database is altered now what is the next step startup mount we will wait, wait for some time yeah instance is started now it is uh, mounting actually let's wait for uh, some time yeah database is mounted let us check yeah now it is converted to physical standby and DB name it's prod and the mode is mounted now we are we have to go to the standby database here it should return as primary yeah it is returning as primary now we are converting this standby physical standby to primary alter database commit to switch over to primary with session shutdown let us wait for some time yeah it is altered now we'll open
once this is uh, open actually in open mode we have to start the MRP process rec recovery media recovery in the previous primary now which is a standby of this um, of this I mean primary so our primary will be acting as a standby and standby will be acting as a primary in practical scenarios what happens uh, in case of dr drill activity so uh, it will be a mm, it will be a big change actually like uh, all the applications will be will be down and database servers will be uh, this switchover will be performed where primary database primary server will be acting as a standby and standby database stand server will be acting as a primary and then application will be connecting to the standby database and they will be checking all the things if everything looks good and they will again switch back to the primary or they may keep uh, a certain period uh, the running this applications I mean mostly it, it doesn't hap uh, happen actually uh, so what happens you know I mean in practical field so application testing will be performed and then again they will ask us to and they'll they'll keep some they'll do some testing from the application end and they'll ask us to switch back to a primary so uh, this activity is very useful to understand uh, that our standby server is also fine uh, and it should always be in sync so that if anything happens to the primary server we can easily move the applications to the standby database that is called if if it if it is if primary is crashed somehow then we can easily move the application to the standby database that is called failover that i will explain in my upcoming videos i'll explain the scenario as well how to convert this physical standby and uh, while failover happened so yeah that is it so this is the use of ac active data guard configuration where your application is running in a primary server and if something happens if if something goes wrong in the primary server you can easily switch the applications to the standby server so that you can have minimal impact on your business that is the mode of this so now we can see our uh, database is in open mode yeah now this node 2 in node 2 the database is in primary mode role and it is in read write mode now what we'll do is we'll start the recovery in the standby which which was earlier primary alter database recover manage standby database disconnect yeah now our recovery is started over here and we can see we can see see here you can see that MRP is applying and RFS is idle so let us switch some uh, 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 online redo logs here we can see log is applying it should here yeah. see RF is opening uh, RF is status is opening you can see the I'll switch some uh, some of the logs and we'll check here the status it is reacting slow actually uh, due to this machine I mean I have allocated less memory to the database servers that's why it is uh, querying very slow so in a real-time scenario it should not happen actually there are a lot of memory should be allocated there yeah so uh, once it is in sync we can see that primary servers serve database is 
running on node 2 earlier in node 2 physical standby was running and now physical standby database is running on node 1 where primary database was running this is the switch over this is reacting very slow actually due to the less memory uh, I'll increase the memory later actually so yeah let us let just uh, this example happen and we'll work on it so finally these lock switches are happened uh, this took actually a lot of time so our maximum sequence yeah. so it is so it is waiting for the log uh, 57 so we will validate the gap once in the from a current primary yes gap is there so we will wait So we will check uh, select max sequence from p dollar k underscore log it is 56 and we will check where applied equals to yes yeah now uh, both the databases are in sync here max sequence is 56 and here also max sequence is 56 where applied equals to yes means it's applied also so uh, we have done switch over successfully where our primary database is converted to production and production database is converted to primary so in the next video I'm going to explain about the switchback this is the same thing we'll be converting the primary to okay uh, converting to primary converting to the uh, physical standby and physical standby should be converting to the uh, primary so hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned something if you have learned something make sure you subscribe this channel and uh, uh, comment below if anything is missed or any better thing can be done yeah that is what uh, so let's meet, meet into the next video bye bye